All right, welcome to DL Jones Images. Today's video, I got something pretty cool for you. I got, I did something a couple of weeks ago that I hadn't, I didn't know that I was gonna do. Um, I ended up using a Sony A1. Now this camera, I mean, of course I'm a Canon shooter. I use a Canon RP. Uh, which is pretty much like I've said in a lot of my videos, the Canon RP is a pretty much budget camera and I've been using it for a little over two years and I really like the camera. Um, I've been able to do some work with that camera, but I went to back in December, towards the end of December, I went to, I know you all heard of Brandon Cole. Um, he got a YouTube channel, Brandon Cole Photography. He is actually one of my mentors. Um, there's several people on YouTube that I follow and I learn a lot of things from. He is probably number one on that list. Um, to mention the others, a few others, we got Photo Me Ike and we got Manny Ortiz. But, um, but those three, Brandon Cole, Photo Me Ike, Manny Ortiz, those three are the ones that I've been watching for years. I've been trying to learn things from them. Um, Brandon Cole, he lives in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, that's where he works out of, and that's where my family lives in that area of Virginia. So he had a photo walk back in the, in the end of December. He called it the Naughty or Nice Photo Walk. Um, it was in Virginia Beach. I was like, yo, my family lives over there, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Now, this photo walk, is it was pretty cool setup. It was at a house. He calls it a mansion. It's a really big house, nice house. He had four of his models, the models that I've seen on his channel millions and millions of times before. Those were the models that were going to be there. And then, he, then all the photographers were people just like me that showed up. It was 18 of us there total. And it was a pretty cool setup. The models rotated around in different rooms. They changed outfits and all of this stuff. And we got a chance to do a lot of get a lot of good shots, pictures and all of this kind of stuff in different environments, different outfits, different models and stuff like that. And the coolest thing about this photo walk was that Brandon Cole was there and he was able to help, to, you know, give us pointers and give us like little mini classes on using off camera flash to get to what this video is about. Like I said in the title, I use Brandon Cole's Sony A1 and what ended up happening, how I ended up using his um, camera. This time I forgot one of my batteries at home here in Charlotte. So I'm all the way in Virginia, Virginia Beach at his photo walk. I just got two batteries. I thought I was going to be good, but I, I ran through both of those batteries. Still, we still had about a good hour, hour and a half left of the photo walk. I didn't want to leave because it was, a, even though I wasn't shooting at that point, I was still getting a lot of good information. He was still giving us tips and stuff like that. So I was still just trying to soak in everything I could while I was there. But he ended up letting me use his Sony A1. I mean, this is the one that he does a lot of his videos with, the Sony A1, the $6,000 camera. So he let me use it. I got about a good 30, 40 minutes with it. And and it was pretty awesome. One thing that I noticed, and I'm gonna come back at the end of this uh, this montage, and I'm gonna show you here in a second. But one thing, the very first thing I noticed about this camera, like sometimes you don't realize what you what you're missing out on until you get to use something that is more capable, and then you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. I could do that, you know. And like I said in my in my last video, I was saying that the very first thing I noticed when I had that Sony A1 in my hand is the autofocus. The autofocus is so nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I wasn't used to that autofocus. I wasn't used to the autofocus being so as nice as it was. I mean, it was like, you know, that autofocus just snapped on to the to the uh, subject and just stayed there. You know what I'm saying? And and I didn't have to do any fiddling around. I didn't have to do any touching the screen or anything to regain focus or anything. It just snapped on and stayed there. It was like a non-issue. Um, and that right there, that alone just made me realize how much that I um, that I probably need to upgrade. Here we go, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna show you the images I took with his camera. Now, like I said, I only use it for about 30 or 40 minutes because his battery was actually low too when he gave it to me um, to use it. So it ended up dying too um, after I was shooting with it for a while. And after I show you this, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you the second thing about that Sony A1 that I noticed, but I'll come back and I'll let you know about that right after this montage, check it out. Talking way too loud, 
And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out. Who you rootin' for? They say whatever team that'll win. I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one. Start. Gotta watch step on a tightrope. I never fall off this light work. Lord knows it's God's work. All right, so there you have it. That's some of the shots that I took with that Sony A1, and I forgot to mention, but I, he also had a Sigma 35 millimeter 1.2 art lens on it. So he had about a good six, seven, eight thousand dollars worth of kit that I was using that day. Um, but it was pretty awesome. And I'll tell you, and, and now, you know, now that I get to this point, there's actually two things I wanted to tell you about that, um, that I learned with this Sony A1. Okay, the first thing was when I was editing the pictures, it just, I just noticed, like, one thing I've always read about the Canon RP is that the, um, is that the dynamic range wasn't all of that great. You know what I'm saying? And I've noticed it. I mean, as I've used it, as the time went on, you know, I've noticed it myself. Like, if I take pictures that are, that are like, like, I run into a problem now that when I'm using flash, I'll really brighten up the top part of the body because of the softbox I have as a 28 inch. And, and when you get down to like the knee or below, if the person, if the subject is standing, um, it's, it's, you know, encased in shadows, which is fine if that's the look you're going for. But sometimes I want to bring those shadows out so that you can see more of the legs and stuff like that, especially if you're using like a dark black background and the subject is wearing dark like jeans or, or pants or something like that. Now with my Canon RP, when I'm editing the photos, I can't bring those shadows out too much because if you, I can bring them out just a little bit, but if I bring them out a little bit too much, 
I could see it. You know what I'm saying? I could see where it starts getting a little grainy and distorted and stuff like that. So a lot of times when I run into those situations, if I don't get it right, you know, in camera when I'm when I'm doing the shoot, a lot of times I'll just I'll just very lightly adjust those areas um, in the image. Um, with that Sony A1, man, I could bring those shadows up. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I noticed that I didn't have that problem. Um, I could bring those shadows up and I could really manipulate the shadows and, and exposure in different parts of the image and stuff like that. Um, and that was a big thing. Not a, it's something that's very useful that I notice on, you know, that I've just only recently started noticing has been an issue with me with the Canon RP, but it's something that I noticed. You know, it's something that I could see if I get a better camera with better dynamic range, I could make use of that. You know what I'm saying? Along with the autofocus and those two, those are two things right there that right away I can make use of when I, if I upgrade my kit. Now, the third thing I noticed, which wasn't with the camera, it was the lens. Now, like I said, he had the Sigma um, 35 millimeter 1.2 um, art lens. Now, if you could, as you can see, you know, that, that lens is pretty sharp. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I and I shot the whole time I had the camera, I shot it at 1.2. So, you know, it, it the sharp the focus, you know, focused on the eye and then, you know, faded out as it went away from the eye. But the thing that I noticed is the brightness, how bright those images were compared to me using my 45 millimeter 1.8. The brightness um, on the images was was you know, is a it was a clear big difference on um on uh, like even with the settings that we were using um you know I had to I had to my settings that I was using on my Canon RP was completely different than the settings that he had that I was using on that Sony A1 but the, and the brightness on that on the images I got with the Sony A1 was still bright as a matter of fact I'm going to put two images up on the screen one is with the Sony A1 and one is with the with my RP from that same day different models because I I had the Sony A1 different parts different times of the day than I was using my Canon RP but I'm going to put these two images up here and you can see the difference in brightness I still like my images, like my, well, both of them are mine, but I still like the one with the RP, but I just could tell how clear of a difference in brightness. That's that 35 millimeter 1.2 just pulls in so much more light than that 45 millimeter 1.8 that I've been using. But, um, but there you have it. That's a Sony A1. My first time using a really expensive camera like that. And I can clearly see like in that 30, 40 minutes that I use that camera, I can clearly see the differences right away. If I had a camera like that, I'd be a beast. But I say that, but to be honest with you, the camera don't make the photographer. I know you've heard this a million times. You got to have the skill to be able to use that camera. Like me, I say I'd be a beast, but I had to practice with it for a little while because this is some, it'll be some changes that I would have to make to use a camera like that, you know, especially with that lens. But but yeah, it was it was uh, it was awesome. And Brandon, I want to tell you, thank you for letting me use that camera. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you, I would have just been walking around looking silly for the last hour and a half. And and I really enjoyed the photo walk. It was awesome. You know, um, I got another video with the photo walk. I'm going to be focusing on the images I took with my camera. Um, I got that coming soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can get notified. And I'll, I'll be back in a I don't know if it'll be my next video, but I'm going to do it soon. The video for the part of the photo walk where I use where, you, where I'm going to show you the images that I did with the Canon RP. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.